Is there a reason that uh, it's probably climate, I, I would assume, but that's some of that reason that we go to the third world countries to get some of the ingredients versus being able to have it grown in, in the U S well, there's two ways to answer that. I think, I think it's advantageous to grow some things in the United States. And I talked to an organization that's looking into uh, growing, um, I think it's uh, chia and quinoa and stuff like that. And I, I've just been keeping my tabs on that. The, the important thing is that why these things are around the world is because the planet has certain ecological uh, systems and those systems have and those uh, s- those natural stressors have created environments for these plants to exist. The reason why maca has these endocrine enhancers uh, and adaptogenic response systems is because it's responding to the high high elevations and stressors of at, at, of being at uh, ten thousand uh, plus feet. Um, and that develops the compounds and the structure within the plant, which when we ingest, we receive those benefits because they know how to biologically activate in the body. So to mock, mock, from a maca standpoint, many others, they simply wouldn't grow uh, many places. Um, uh, in the maca situation, we've actually been looking at different regions throughout Peru as potential to uh, help with our supply chain. That's about the extent of it. You know what I'm saying? So we look at regions within the region, um, but very similarly, for example, my first run in with cordyceps was, was in uh, the Himalayas in Bhutan, where it was, you know, close to 20,000 feet and they're harvesting cordyceps there. And it just simply, there is some scenarios where you can do some lab things that reproduce high quality stuff. And we're looking into all of those things, but, but in certain aspect, you can't really reproduce that, which mother nature has uh, selected to be optimal. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then <laughs> that's, I mean, the, the example of the mockery is that's pretty cool right there. I mean, yeah. So you, if you, if you look at every single ingredient, like that, it's a whole world. Every ingredient is a whole world of its own unique, uh, not only uh, chemical structure, but growing structure, um, processing structure, and needs. And, and all of those have different compounds. Sometimes these things have 300 compounds. Um, uh, so, so it's every ingredient, you're, you're conveniently taking in this, this, you know, the Shakeology and receiving thousands of compounds. Um, and, and that's the thing. It's really easy to go, Oh, this tastes good, blah, blah, blah. And, but this is a very, very, very complex, um, (laughs) biochemical plant, uh, world happening that you're, that you're, that we're making it easy for you to (laughs) get the effect of. So (laughs) absolutely. And we get to pass it along to others at the same time. Absolutely. Okay, so the next question, is there, like, is there really a, a protein scale of one to seven? 